Welcome back to TK Tennis. Today we have a review of Toraline O Toro. These are the latest strings from Toraline, and I think you're going to be seeing a lot of marketing by YouTube influencers on this particular string. Toraline does an exceptional job marketing via their YouTube influencers and their YouTube affiliates. And a full disclaimer, I am not one of those affiliates at this time. A quick note on how I do my reviews. I always use at least a full set of strings until they break. So this is not just a 30 minute play test. There's always at least one full set of strings, many times many more than that. Number two, it's always in the same racket at the same tension, which is my head gravity MPL that's been customized to about 325 swing weights and at 50 pounds of tension. And it's always back to back comparing the strings that I'm testing with a set of strings that I know very well. I think that's the only way to do string reviews is to go switch back and forth between rackets, between a string that you know very well and the string that you're testing. Otherwise, there's too many other variables between whether you're playing inside or outside. And then if you are playing outside, the weather conditions, heat, humidity, are you playing well? Are you not playing well? The only way to understand the nuances between strings is by going back to back. So that's how I do my reviews. Let's get into Toro Line O Toro. And I think I'm going to have a lot to say. And if you happen to be someone that saw my first impressions review on Toraline O Toro, you probably remember me saying that the strings felt very metallic, like hitting on the inside of a trash can. That really only experienced that the first day of play. So I'm going to chalk that up to the environment. While they did have a little bit of a metallic feel, sort of like an alu power rough, um, it wasn't nearly as dramatic as the first time I hit with these particular strings. So I think that may have been the environment or the backdrop on that particular day. Let's go through the attributes. The control category, there's no doubt these are high quality strings. They get an excellent from me. On spin potential, let's highlight potential. If you are a big hitter, you'll notice that I marked this as a high in terms of spin potential with an asterisk. And that's if you're a big hitter and you can break through the crust being a hexagonal shaped string, it can give you a lot of spin, but it gives you nothing for free. So if you're looking for just extra spin and you're a normal recreational player, you're probably not going to realize any difference on spin potential. Snapback, like most other Toraline strings, it's a hyper slick string. Uh, when you're stringing it, you can feel it and it gets an excellent in the snapback category. In terms of power, it gets kind of interesting. Um, again, if you're a big hitter, you can break through the crust. You get the power that you would expect out of a good quality poly. But if you're just a, if you're just rallying like normal, it's sort of muted and it gives you nothing for free here as well. It's just sort of on the low end of normal. Durability is a high. It got me about seven hours before it broke. Moving on to tension maintenance, it gets a very good sort of in between that normal and high category. Tension maintenance was great. It lasted, um, it felt firm all the way through about the six and a half hour mark and it broke around seven hours. So tension maintenance was very good. Moving on to feel, this is where it gets a little confusing with Otoro. There's a lot of asterisks here next to the feel categories. If you're not a big hitter, this set of strings will feel a little bit muted to you. Um, it's also a very crisp string, uh, whether you're a very good player or not a very good player, it's certainly very crisp. And then when you move on to the lively category, it also has another asterisk because if you're striking it really well, it can feel lively. But again, it gives you no free pop for free, so it doesn't really feel lively unless you're really striking the ball. So it gives you nothing for free, so it can feel lively if you're, the, if you're a big hitter with aggressive swings, it probably will feel lively to you. And because of that, if you're not a big hitter, it may actually feel harsh to you. And I wouldn't say this is a harsh string by any stretch of the imagination. It's certainly not harsh to be described, but it can feel a little bit harsh at times. So my overall grade is for recreational players, I give it a B minus. The reason is simply is I can think of at least a dozen strings, if not many more, that I would rather play with than Toro Line O Toro. Again, it feels great if you're really striking the ball well, but I think most recreational players won't love this string. They'll find it to be a very good string, but because it gives you nothing for free, it's not really satisfying to hit with. However, on the pro level scale, while once upon a time I used to play future level tennis, I don't any longer, but I know what a high level player is looking for in a string. And for pros, this may be an A or even an A-plus level string. 
It was co-developed by an ATP pro, which is Stevie Johnson. So maybe this string is intended for those elite players only. And that's what I believe it is intended for. But for recreational players, those between 3.5 and 5.0 that like polys, I don't think you're going to love this string. I mean, it's just that it's just that simple. So who is it for? It's for elite players. It's a string that's for college level players and up, those rated 5.5 or higher, or UTR 11 plus and higher. This string has awesome potential for those players who possess the cheat code of fast, aggressive swings. But make no mistake about it, this string gives you nothing for free. Not spin, not power, not comfort. And therefore, I think recreational players beware that you will only like Otoro if you are not honest with yourself. And that may sound a little harsh, and maybe it's not honest with yourself, but to overcome that confirmation bias, if you're not testing these strings with another string back-to-back, -back, you may find yourself really liking these strings. But you won't truly know unless you hit with another racket, the same racket, with another set of strings to realize and overcome that confirmation bias that these strings really aren't that satisfying to hit with. I was quite happy to be done with these strings. Um, I just want more pop and I want a little bit more for free than these strings gave me. So would I use it again? It's a firm no for me. Um, again, strong players may feel differently about this string, but I think most recreational players won't like this string. One other final talking point. Um, I started testing another string right after these Otoros broke. And within five minutes, I knew that these new strings that I'm testing and that I'm not going to mention yet um, played better than these Otoros, at least felt better, and they gave me more confidence. So between playing with Kirschbaum Orange and this another set of strings that I was testing, it was very clear to me that these strings just didn't fit the mold for me and for what I think most recreational players will enjoy. And if this seems harsh towards Toraline, it's not meant to be harsh. I still think it's an excellent string. I just think it's a B- minus for most recreational players. It's not meant to be harsh. I'm a big believer and a big proponent or advocate of these boutique brands like Toraline and Restring. I want them to succeed. I think they make some excellent strings on the market, and they're, doing, they're really pushing the envelope. Um, I just think maybe some of their strings are a little bit too niche and a little bit for too high caliber of players and they don't fit the everyday player as much as I would like them to. And with that said, I'm probably also gonna test Toraline Absolute here soon at some point because I believe their, their Absolute strings are the softest versions that they have and might be more appealing to recreational players. So if you have any questions or thoughts or comments, please ask them in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next ace. See you soon.